or the emperor lived. Amen. So they ca didn't call it the Italian Empire, they simply called it the Roman Empire Amen. because Rome was a central capital. Amen. Now I'm trying to let you know the Bible expresses that this centurion, mm -hmm. now centurion means he was a commander of a host yes. or a regiment in the army. Yes. He commanded 100. Yes. Centurion is taken from the word Century. Yes. Right. Century means 100. Yes. Huh? Amen. We're in the 21st century. Yes. 100 years from now, we'll be in the 22nd century. Yes. So a century covers 100 years. Yes. So thusly, the word centurion or commander over 100. Mm -hmm. Now, in order for him to be a centurion of the band of Italia, which means the regiment was from Italy. Right. They weren't from Palestine. Right. They wasn't from Galilee. Yes. They wasn't from Jerusalem or Israel. Yes. That was from Israel. Yes. Now, Italy didn't have no soldiers from Palestine. Yes. They didn't have no Arab soldiers. Yes. They had Italian soldiers. Yes. It said so from the band of Italia. Yes. Now, you research and find out what Italia or what an Italian is, and then you get back and uh, write me again. He used the word where the Bible says Cornelius was a devout man. He didn't want to accept that devout and he couldn't handle it. Yes. So he said by him being a devout man, the Bible was trying to say he was an Israelite. Oh, now, 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 you know, any time you want to counterfeit the word to that extreme mm -hmm. when you ain't got nothing to rest on. Yes. See, a person can argue 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. Mm -hmm. They can take verses 14 15 and 16, and you can give a pretty good argument if you don't know where you're going. Yes. Yes. Right. But you can't argue this text. You can't say he was a devout man and that made him an Israelite. No, he was a devout man before he ever became saved. Yes. Yes. That's why God saved him. Yes. Yes. Peter got the horn yes. from God or the revelation in the horn when God was beginning to now bring in the Gentile family. Yes. Right. Cornelius was the first Gentile converted. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, when the horn came down and Peter was in this trance, I believe it's in chapter 10 somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, God told Peter when he saw the pig kill, slay, and eat. Mm -hmm. And Peter said, Lord, I can't eat nothing unclean because he was of the Hebrew origin and they couldn't eat no pig. Mm -hmm. He said, I can't eat the pig. Because I got the instruction. Yeah. But God said, what I call yes. clean. Yeah. In other yeah. words, if I tell you it's all right, yes, don't argue with me. I'm the one who beat the Lord. Then he sent Cornelius yeah. to Peter and yeah. told him where he lived. Now when Cornelius came, Peter said, well now, I found out that you're a good man here. Oh, man. And I'm going to save you. Yes. Give you the message. Yes. And he preached to him and to his whole household. Amen. The Jews that was with him yes. did not want to baptize Cornelius in his household. If you read verse 47 to 48. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said Peter had to command them. Yes. Yes. See he didn't baptize himself. He sent his preachers to baptize. Amen. And he said no we don't want to baptize him. He's, he's a Gentile. Yes. And, and Peter said you better because I'm yes. giving you instructions. Yes. Right. I'm giving you command. Yes. And he commanded them. He, he to what? Commanded them to what? To be baptized <laughs> in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Right now. So I'm saying to that Israelite preacher, mm -hmm. First Corinthians 16. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to deal with you no more. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with you as long as you give me a fair argument. I, I don't run from no fair argument. Right, right. If it's fair, honest, mm -hmm. and you trying to seek the truth because you. you you bring your point of view, fine. I'll read it. But when I give you correction based on Scripture, don't you take a Scripture and twist it That's for right. it to mean other than what the Scripture means. Right. This is why Christianity is such in a shape as in today. And those of you watching me by way of internet, you better listen to me. The Bible says about these false prophets. Uh, I mean, I'm in uh, 1 Corinthians 16 chapter. Oh, uh, 16 chapter. Pick right up in verse. Oh, that ain't first Corinthians I want. 
with clever words and fair speech. Romans 7. Romans 16. Yeah, Romans 16. All right. And jump right in at verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary now, to the doctrine. I had an apostolic pastor tell me once, now you know he was off in left field too. He said, when you see the word brethren, it only means the brothers in the church. I said, no. I said, Pastor, you're wrong. It means brothers and sisters. He just uses the masculine text brethren, but it means church. Just like sometimes Paul would write and said, beloved. Yeah. It's, you're talking about church. Yeah. All right. Now I beseech you, brethren. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. And avoid them. And avoid them. And that's what I'm going to do with this, this man. Yes. I ain't going to fool with him no more. Amen. And avoid him. Amen. Amen. All right, now watch. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus yes. Christ, uh -huh. but their own belly, yes. and by good words, good words and, fair speeches, and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. This is what this man is trying to do. He's trying to deceive people. And he has those people in the house of the Israelites deceived. Mm -hmm. I hope one of y'all watching yes. uh, by way of internet in the house of Israel, you need to leave away from there, run it. Because it's not right, and his character is not right. Amen. If his character was right, he would admit wrong mm -hmm. and then try to change it. Yes. We found out that the little doll wasn't right. Yes. I said, we're going to change it. Yes. Pride don't, I ain't thinking about no pride. We're going to change it. We're going to wear the veil. Yes. And, that, and that's why we wear the veil. Yes. We found out Pentecostal was not Bible. Yeah. And we changed it from Pentecostal to Pentecost. Yeah. We found out apostolic was not Bible. Yeah. We changed apostolic to apostle. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Every chance we could. Amen. It's on the big right. sign out there. Yeah. I think it's on the sign back here. Hallelujah. Not ashamed. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When the God sent correction, he sent correction to a humble people. Yeah. For you to get right. People got to get right before they go into judgment. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I'm saying to those doing again by women tonight, don't be like Jonathan. Don't be in church and not have the spirit of church in you. Yes. Jonathan put on this big show before David. But when he saw David have to go in the woods and live, he went back to his house. Yes. And when the fight came with the Philistines, instead of him running to David's camp, he went right along with his father, and he knew yes. that his father was cursed of God. Yes. He knew it. Yes. Some of y'all watching by way of internet, you know you're in a wrong yes. church, but you're going to hell. Yes. And when the judgment comes against you, yes, you can't say one word, yes. but Lord, which way is the lake of fire? Yes. Yes. That's right. Amen. I can't make it by myself. Will you help me? I said to the lake of fire. And he, he'll send one of them to help you to the lake of fire. Because he disobeyed his word. Hallelujah. Ain't no mercy when judgment comes. Ain't no forgiveness of sin when judgment comes. See, Jonathan had his chance with David when he made the covenant. Bible said before the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, God, you sealed this. And he broke the covenant. Let's learn how to follow God's leader yes. in this day yes. we have all this corruption, all this misinformation, yes. all this confusion in the Christian church when there shouldn't be no confusion yes. in Christianity. Yes. And we're supposed to speak the same thing. Yes. Someone wrote me uh, the other day and said, well, I go to this church, I agree with what you're teaching, but my pastor told me we kind of teach a little bit different, but we all go to the same heaven. That's another lie. That's right. That's right. No pastor telling you that because he don't want them daughters to wear no veil. That's right. Amen. He don't want them daughters to come with their face clean. Yes. Yes. Not with gold or pearls or costly or ring. And then he, he, he asked, he said, well, now it also says in Peter, let it not be the adorning. So does that mean they have to come naked? Well, now, see, if you're that big of a fool that you can't interpret that, then you showing sure up don't need to be called yourself a preacher. First Peter three and three. Yeah. My goodness, do I have to do I have to break everything down to you? I'm talking to the internet. Yes. <laughs> I will. Praise God. Amen. I'll break it down to you if you don't understand what Peter's saying. Read. Who's adorning? Who's adorning? Let it not be that our adorning of plaiting the hair uh -huh. and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel. 
not a wearing 